Hello viewers, welcome to online classroom where we are learning 25 lean manufacturing tools in this video series. In our previous video on learning OEE, that is overall equipment effectiveness, we learned that OEE never touches 100%, its ideal state. I recommend viewers to watch that video first to better understand this one. Click on I button for that. In this video, we will learn the losses that exist in any manufacturing process which every manufacturing engineer or manager must know. They are called six big losses. Similar to OEE, six big losses were also conceptualized by Sichi Nakazima, a Japanese and pioneer founder of total productive maintenance system. So what is six big losses? These are the losses that don't allow OEE to be at 100% if defined simply. To understand better if this green line represents all time available, the first are scheduled loss, which are inherent. Scheduled losses represent that time period when production is not scheduled. Remaining time is potential production time, maximum time available for production. Next loss from available time is availability loss, loss incurred due to downtime, lunch, tea break, etc. Remaining time is called runtime or time in which production is performed. In this runtime, when production is performed, next loss come as performance loss, loss due to reasons when production rate is not able to meet desired design rate. Left out time is called net runtime, time which corresponds to production of parts. In runtime, next loss is quality loss. It represents bad parts produced in total produced parts. Final left out time is productive time, which is our overall equipment effectiveness. Now, Scheduled losses are beyond any management's comprehension or scope of work. They are planned loss of efficiency due to external factor, thus not considered for OEE. It is the remaining three losses that are important, impactful, and area of improvement and concern for any management. These three are considered for OEE. Now, next part is how to identify and categorize six big losses. These six big losses are categorized in three types shown earlier, availability, performance, and quality for effective assessment. Two losses are mapped for each category. They are also aligned with OE calculation, so provide for efficient improvement tracking as well. First category is availability. Two availability losses are planned stops and unplanned stops, or we can also say them equipment failure and setup and adjustment. Second category is performance loss. Two performance losses are small stops and slow cycles, or rather known as idling and minor stops and reduced speed. Third category is quality. Two losses are production rejects and startup rejects, or process defects and reduced yield. Now, before going for examples of each loss, let's first understand why six big losses are important to identify and assess. First, they help any production engineer or manager by providing additional in-depth information about OEE loss in actionable form. These six losses drive and direct improvement of OEE. These are the direct factors. As OEE helps with achievable target setting of management, six big losses helps in same fashion for ground level staff. Lastly, with example of six big losses, Starting with availability, we shared earlier, there are two losses in this header, unplanned stops and planned stops. Unplanned stops covers tooling failure, any needed sudden maintenance, general breakdown during running and equipment failure without notice. Planned stops covers setup and changeover, material shortage, operator shortage, major adjustment during preventive maintenance and warm up time to restart after major planned activity. Second is performance. Two losses are small stops and slow cycles. Under small stops, major examples are obstructed product flow in line or channel, component of equipment getting jammed, misfeeds or material feeding issues, block deliveries or sensors, and regular cleaning and checkup. On the other side, under slow cycles, examples are rough running, under design capacity, equipment wear, inefficient operator, and under nameplate capacity. Those who are not aware with nameplate capacity, it is also known as rated capacity or nominal capacity or installed capacity of equipment. Lastly, quality. They are production rejects and startup rejects. It is just different names for same rejects based on when they have generated. Major examples of rejects are 
scrap, rework, in process damage, expiration, or incorrect assembly. That is all for six big losses. Hope this information was useful for viewers. Subscribe to channel to stay connected and learn more such topics. Like and share the video for maximum knowledge gain. See you again in next video on PDCA, that is Plan, Do, Check, Act. Till then, keep learning, keep growing.